Hello and welcome to this video demo of the new Reconcile experience available in QuickBooks Online. To access Reconcile, go to the gear icon at the upper right, then select Reconcile. That will launch the new Reconcile landing page. First, I will provide a quick overview of what exactly a reconciliation is and its benefits. Reconciling an account is important because it ensures that what you have in QuickBooks Online aligns with what really happened in the account. That enables you to accurately monitor the flow of money in and out of your business and also ensures your books are accurate for when you file your taxes. This is done by comparing the statement you receive from your bank or financial institution with what's in QuickBooks Online. Today in this demo I'm going to be reconciling a credit card account and I also have my credit card statement out to complete this reconciliation. The first thing you want to confirm is the beginning balance matches with what you see on the statement. And then you proceed by entering in the statement ending balance off the paper statement. And today we'll be reconciling the January statement period. Then click Start Reconciling. And this is the new Reconcile page. I'll highlight a few of the enhancements Beginning with the upper left here, we have a link to the credit card register. So with one click now, you can access the accounts register. Below that, you have a filtering option that gives you a number of ways to locate hidden transactions. For example, you can search by memo, reference number, dollar amount, or you can filter this table down to a particular transaction status type transaction type, payee, or filter the table down to a more narrow date range. At the top middle, by default, it'll show all transactions, but you also have the flexibility of filtering this table down to only show payments or only show charges and easily toggle back and forth. With this particular credit card account, it's connected with an online banking connection so with that, the majority of these transactions, since they were downloaded, are already ticked. Transactions that aren't ticked were manually entered, and for whatever reason, we don't have a matching transaction from the bank. And at the upper right, it'll detail how we're pro progressing with the reconciliation. With all these transactions ticked, we have a difference of $55. Our goal is to get this down to $0. You'll notice as you t untick or tick, all these totals will change. If you're getting down to the end of the reconciliation and you're having trouble getting down to a zero dollar difference, number of tools to help you get to zero. First, we do provide a total for the number of charges and total number of payments, and your bank statement will provide the same. So you'll be able to compare these totals against what you see on the statement to see what you're missing. You also have an option here where you can expand this area to have more visibility on how you're getting to this zero dollar difference. It'll highlight the statement ending balance, the cleared balance, etc. And you can always collapse it to view more transactions. You also have number of ways you can filter or sort this table not only from here but you can also sort these columns just by clicking on the column header but as you locate transactions that need to be ticked we're getting close to zero and now we're down to a zero dollar difference so we're done At this point we can click on finish now and that will provide a way to either view, the, view a reconciliation report or select done. And you can always access reconciliation history from the reconcile landing page by clicking on reconcile reconciliation history. And that'll launch a report that'll detail all the different accounts that are subject to reconciliation. You can specify the date range and view or print reports here. Sometimes your account may not be ready to reconcile right off the bat. If your beginning balance doesn't match the ending balance of the prior reconciliation period, it's very important that you fix the beginning balance prior to 
reconciling the next statement period. The next account I'm going to reconcile is also a credit card account. And you'll notice we have an alert that our beginning balance does not match the ending balance of the last statement period. We now provide the tools to help you easily and quickly locate the problem transactions to correct this beginning balance. And it's done with a reconciliation discrepancy report. So if you click on this link, that'll launch the report. And I'll highlight a few things here. Uh, it will detail the transactions that are causing the discrepancy. In this situation, we have two. Our goal is to get this down to a $0 discrepancy. And in some situations, you may want to investigate what happened with these transactions. And over on the right, you have the option to view a transaction audit log. That will launch in a new tab. And it time and date stamps the history of changes to this transaction. So you'll be able to see who made the change, when, maybe figure out why it was changed. And once you've determined how you want to proceed, you'll be able to go back to the discrepancy report. And we'll notice with this $100 transaction, it was previously reconciled, but now it's in an unreconciled state, creating a $100 discrepancy. And we've determined that this should be marked as reconciled. So if you click on the uh, transaction, it'll expand and give you ways to modify it all from this report. And notice what happens once we remark this as reconciled. Our difference at the upper right will automatically adjust. So now we're now down to a $9 dis discrepancy. We're getting close. For this remaining transaction, looks like the amount was changed. It's still in a reconciled status, but it was changed by a difference of $9. And with this particular transaction, we can either modify the amount within this field here, or you click on Edit. That'll open up the full transaction, and you can modify the amount here. Either way. Save and close. Since this is a reconciled transaction, we will alert you that you're modifying a reconciled transaction, and that may create a problem. In this situation, we know we're on the right track, so we can just disregard it. Now the report's gone, the alert is gone, our beginning balance is now correct, and now we can proceed with reconciling the next statement period.